Hello everyone. So it's a little bit close. Okay, so Yeah, she be good. Alright, so I thought that would be a pretty good idea to do a video about starting a business. I said that because I've noticed that everybody, I don't say everybody, but there are several people who are, you know, either trying to start a business, has started one, or you know, thinking about starting one, don't really know. So I thought, you know, since I have had my business for a few years, um, it's been about, well, I've changed business names like two times, like different things have happened, but, you know, in total, I would say at least six years. I say at least these six years because I kind of started once my niece was born. But anyway, so... I thought it'd be a good idea to come on here and you know do a video about um starting a business and telling you things that people don't really tell you either they don't tell you because they're scared of your growth they don't tell you because they see you as competition they don't tell you because a lot of people don't like to tell you this stuff because they want you to pay them to tell you. And which I understand because, you know, you do take a lot of time out of your day to research. And research can be very strenuous. It can be annoying. It can take hours upon hours to do. So, you know, a lot of people don't really just give you this information. So, you know... It's pretty simple information. It's things that people don't think about, you know, when they start a business. Because a lot of people go, oh, I got this new idea. I'm going to start a business and I'm going to just start selling it. Without thinking about, you know, not only the legal parts, but, you know, dealing with customers. Everybody can't deal with customers. You know, like, you know, it's kind of to get certified. So, anyway, so I myself, I have a... You, um, like logos. I don't go into depth with logos, you know, so I could do pretty much the basic stuff. I'm getting into and researching like graphic design and all that stuff. But um it's like I do t shirts, cups, you know, different th different things like that, which I'll be getting into later. Um, because I'm gonna do um a few videos on like how I do what I do. Because a lot of people ask me questions about that, like wanting me to show them how to use different machines and, you know, different things they can do with their machines. So, I'm going to a few videos about that. Not many, just the basics because that's the type of person I am. I, with a lot of stuff, I don't want to go too far in it because of, it's not fear. It's more of, I just don't want to get into it. As a selling point as a product um because then you got customers that you know the nitpicky customers I can't stand those like don't come to me if you want those type of people because I'm gonna slightly give you your money back and dismiss you okay um but anyway so I didn't write down no notes so I hope this goes well if not reshoot anyway so First thing first, I would say before you even, like once you get your product and you figure out you know exactly what you're going to sell or what your product is going to be, what your service is going to be, I would say come up with at least three business names. Three. I say that because a lot of people, like myself, we come up with the name, we stick with that name, and then later on down the line, as I give you more details, you will understand why I said it. Like, you could think of a name and then it's say, you know, it's something going on with that name and you got to change. So, it's always good to have backups. So, I would suggest coming up with at least three business names. At least three of them. Um, once you get your business names, you know, and think about your products. Then I was just thinking about um, 
how you're going to, depending on what your service and what your product is, you know, start researching getting certified. Is there, it, does it require certification? Um, what, what does your state require? Um, not only your state, like your local government, what do they require in order to run a business like that? Because there are a lot of jealous people in the world. There are a lot of envious people in the world. There are a lot of conniving people in the world. You can be selling a product and then next thing you know, the inspection department or whatever, you know, company or whatever business or whatever local government or whatever could be knocking on your door and now you got an inspection like I know a lot of some people they like to you know cook or sell sweets or different stuff like that and you got people who you know say do a pretty good job but you know that your house isn't going to meet inspection you know what I'm saying so and then you got that envious person or that jealous person or that conniving person that's going to go behind your back and you know call the FDA call the inspection company and be like hey so and so so and so living so and so so and so doing this this and this and y'all need to go check it out now you're getting citations and you're getting fines and all that kind of stuff because you didn't do your research you didn't you know what I'm saying go through the proper steps to you know start off that business so i would say make sure you do that after thinking about what your what your products is going to be actually so skirt skirt um you know see what what it takes to be certified and then once you get you know your certification your registration and all that once you get certified to do that and you figure all that part out, then I would say figure out a business name. Because what if you're going through certification and you're like, mm, I don't really know if I'm going to go through all this just to do this. So, do that second after you think about your product. So, after you think about your product, after you get certified for that service or, you know, to sell that product, um, and you come up with the name, then I would look into making sure that you... Get your get some co kind of corporation like you know your LLCs, your um, incorporated, your your state certified stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like I've had a business for or had businesses for six years, and to be honest, I just got my LLC last year, 2017, no 2018. 2018 because I was supposed to renew this year and I still haven't done that yet. Probably shouldn't say that, but it's true. Um, yeah, so go and get your LLC. I would say get an LLC, LLC because it doesn't leave you with the LLC. You can look it up, you know, do your own research, figure out what's best for you. You didn't take all the paperwork. I filled out an application. So, the reason I say um, that the reason I said earlier in the video that you should come up with three names is because you'll notice that in the process of getting your um, getting your LLC that um, that they'll look for for business names that are like yours. Um, your business name, it has to be unique. No one else can be using um, a name like yours. Like, it can't be confused for another business. Okay, so my old, my old business name before I went to Meant to Be Graphics was Mo's Creations. Um, but when I went and got my LLC in 2018... Um, I had to change business name. I had to come up with a whole other name, um, because there's a hair salon. Um, I can't remember where the hair salon is. I want to say that it's in Atlanta. Um, that hair salon's name was Mo's Creations Hair Salon. And even though, you know, Mo's Creations, and I don't even know if it was her I think her creations were spelled differently or something. It wasn't exact, but I had to get a a new business name. I had to think of something that was different. So 
I thought about it for a little while and then that's when I came up with meant to be graphics. Um so it took like when when I found out that I couldn't use most creations, I had been using most creations for at least a year and a half before I found out that I had to change business names so I had already come up with like a logo I had already been marketing it I had already had shirts I had like everybody you know what I'm saying I had my priceless hat on so when I went to have to change business names I had to change everything I had to change my social medias like I had to change emails um and that stuff took time. Um, some people knew me better from most creations than they did from meant to be graphics. So, like, I had to drop that name completely. And some people get attached to stuff like that. I was kind of attached to that name because, like I said, I had been using it for a year and a half. And it may have been more than a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And... I want to say it was more than I have been using most creations for a long time. Um and I still got shirt shirts now. I still wear my sweatshirt. My mom has shirts with most creations on it. Um but yeah, like once you get attached to a name and you know you start marketing that name and everybody knows you by that name. And then you find out that you have to change it. It can be a bit of a bummer. So I say come up with at least three just in case, you know, one of those three, um, you know, you can't use it. Or two out of those three, you can't use it. Unfortunately, maybe a time where, you know what I'm saying, none of the three are available. And now you got to come up with the fourth, you know. So you just want to be careful with that. Like, it can be a bit of a process. Starting a business can, but that's why I say come up with at least three business names that you are okay with using, that you like, you know what I'm saying, that you can see yourself being able to promote and market. And I'll put the website, I'll link the website either in the description box or you know, I'll add it to the video somewhere up in here, up in this area or up in this area or somewhere. I'll put a website to, um, the what is it called? None of the guy's last name is Kip Kemp K E M P State Secretary. Go to the State Secretary website. That is where you fill out your corporation application. You want to make sure that you do that. Um, I always say to do that. Once you do that and you got your product, you got your certification, you got your LLC, then you start looking into who you're going to market to, what is going to be your, you know, what customers are you going to market to. Um, figure out your marketing pitch, figure out your motto, you know, figure out what's going to be your, if you want a slogan, figure that out, you know, figure out how you are going to sell your business sell your product to your customer you know, thought somebody came in but figure out how you gonna sell your product that's after you get because once you sell your product girl you in there you know what i'm saying so those are my main things that I would tell someone who is just starting their business. After you figure out who you're going to market to, go out and market yourself. I say get t-shirts made. Like, this is not a meant to be t-shirt, but um, get you some t-shirts made. I'm just saying that because I sell t-shirts, but you know what I'm saying? Get you some t-shirts made with your logo on them, on the front, put your, you know what I'm saying, your business name on the back, your phone number, how to contact you, what social medias you got. Before you get your shirts, get your social media page. If you're going to market, you know what I'm saying, if you're going to market through social media, it's a good thing to do. It can be a bad thing once you get, you know, on further down and then people start finding you and then you start getting into the complaints and all that stuff because you will have them. They will come. No matter what you do, there will be a person that is going to complain 
about the product or the service that you have. It's just going to happen. It's just people. Um, get your social media platform. Get on there and market to whoever it is that you are going to market to. Follow them. Tag them. Um, put hashtags in. Hashtag this. Hashtag that. Hashtag whatever product. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. Because people do follow hashtags. It is true. Um, and market yourself using social media. Social, social media is the easiest way to market yourself. It is the easiest way to market your business. Period. It is the easiest way. Um, what else? Social media is the best for marketing. Um, like I said, get you some t-shirts. Wear your shirts. That's another way to market yourself because people are going to be real shirts like, mm, and what do you do with You just turn around and tell them, I do this, this, and this. My phone number on the back if you want it. I can give you my phone number. Get you some get you some t-shirts made, like I said. Get you some business cards. Get you some business cards. Get you some flyers. And keep them with you at all times. Because you never know. They say every opportunity is the opportunity to market yourself. You talk to somebody, market yourself. You know what I'm saying? You, um, I can tell y'all this, but to be honest, I really don't do this myself. Like, other people market me because I'm not that person. Because I like to feel a person out and see if you're going to be the kind of customer that I want to deal with. And then, you know what I'm saying, then we can go from there. If you want to type, like I said, if you want to type people that's just like, neat, 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 neat. And, or, if you're not only a nitpicker, but you're a last minute type of person. I don't want you as a customer. Like, I don't have time for the last minute stuff. I hate last minute orders. You're not coming to me if you need something last minute. I am not the person for that. Two weeks required. Before 14 days. 14 days. Is when you have your product. Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, market yourself, get you some t-shirts, get you some business cards, get you some flyers, get your social media page up, market, 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 <laughs> because people are always reading, people are always on social media, um, you never know who you're going to meet in person, who you can quick give a quick card to, give a quick flyer to, um, my flyers are like a fourth of a page, so when I say flyers, I'm not talking about a full eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. You're trying to pass it out to somebody. No, get you some um, fourth of a page flyers because they're easier. Like for women, you could put them inside of your purse. You could stick them in your purse. You can, um, you know, business cards. You can stick those in your purse. You can stick them in your glove compartment. You can stick them anywhere. You can put them in your baby diaper bag. You know what I'm saying? So. Get you some marketing stuff. Not just social media. Don't just market yourself on social media. Why you with your if you provide a service and say why you provide that service, you can have your your shirt on. Um when if you're selling a product, people see you in public, you got that product on. You know what I'm saying? Um wear your product. If you gonna do t shirts, wear your shirts, wear your own shirts, make your own shirts. That's the best way to market yourself as well. If you gonna do shirts, wear them. Wear your own clothing. Wear your own product. Don't expect everybody else to wear it for you. If I know you made shirts and I know seeing you with your own shirt on. Hmm, something's wrong. It ain't just because you like to be cute. You can make your own little cute shirt. Or whatever. Um, next thing is. Set you some rules. Set you some requirements from your customers. Set you some expectations from your customer. Tell them what you expect from them and then tell them, you know what I'm saying, what you expect of yourself and what you expect of your company and what you can provide. Inform your customer of what you can provide. Don't just accept, you know what I'm saying, a customer telling you they want this, this, and this. And if you know you can provide whatever that customer is asking for, don't tell that customer. Don't waste that customer time. Don't waste yours. If you know you can provide it, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? All money is good money, but all money ain't good money. You know what I'm saying? If you know you can't provide that service, then don't provide it. If you know you can't provide that product, then don't say you can provide it. I am a very honest person. Not only in my personal life, but my business life too. I would tell a person quick, 
I'm sorry, I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? That's not a service that I provide. Um, this is what I can do. And that that you're asking for is what I cannot do either. So that way the customer, you giving the customer the opportunity to decide on if they want to continue on with placing that order or placing, you know what I'm saying, or allowing you to provide that service. You give the customer opportunity to make a decision. And with a lot of customers, that's a big thing. They like being able to make their own decisions because it is their money that you are, you know what I'm saying, going to be taking for your service. So, I would say, if you know you can't provide what they're asking for, don't accept it. Because that's just another complaint. That's just another, you know what I'm saying, way to make your business look bad. Because then, all of those ways you just marketing, they're going to go and use all that against you. They're going to be on your social media page. You're talking about, I did this. I asked them for this, and this is what I got. Y'all know those um, me versus you memes that are going out going around or this is what I asked for and this is what I got memes going around yeah that's gonna be you and your business looking crazy so if you can't provide a service don't don't accept it don't waste people money don't waste people time um but like I was saying set expectations set you know what I'm saying yes it is okay to have expectation for your customer yes it is of your customer yes it is okay to have rules set for your customers like I said my stuff is simple. I need two weeks before I need two weeks between the time that you order your product, what you order what you want, and the time that you expect me to provide it. So my turnaround time is two weeks. Um at the minimum. If you can get it to me early, get it to me early. Um my other expectation is you're either gonna I either require half or whole payment before I start on on a service or start on your product. You know what I'm saying? Those are simple things that I ask for from customers. Yes, there are customers who can't provide that. That is true. And that's where you come in and you make your decision on if you want to continue move forward with providing that service or providing that product. If I'm quick, I'll tell the customer no in a heartbeat. It ain't me being a bitch. It ain't me being mean. It's I. It's what I expect. It's what it's the rules that I set for myself. I set those rules. You set rules for a reason. Don't just be setting rules. Just be setting. Set your rules for a reason. My rules are set up that way. It's because I have a life as well. I, you know, what I'm saying, have different stuff that I have to do. Pers not only personally, but business wise as well. As well, you're not going to just have one customer. A, even though your customers think that they're the only customer yes you might be you know what I'm saying yes you do matter yes you know what I'm saying you are important but other customers are just as important oh my gosh my hair is sticking up it's sticking up this whole video but yes you are important but no customer is more important than the next you know what I'm saying so set your rules set your expectations set you know what I'm saying put them set them put them in stone if you're going to say something to one customer, say the same thing to the next one. You know what I'm saying? Because that could cause, you know, friction as well. Well, you did this for this person and you say that you can't do it for me. You know what I'm saying? Set your rules. Stand on your rules. Say what you mean when it comes to your business and mean what you say. Period. Um, what else? Mm, get your price list. Get your price list. That way, you will know what to charge, what you are going to charge, how you're going to charge it. You know what I'm saying? Get your price list. Get you a, a form of payment. How you expect, you know, each person's payment method to be. Whether that's PayPal, Square, um, PayPal, Square, Cash App, Cash, Check. You know what I'm saying? Do all that and with your um. When you get your LLCs and all that, get you a bank account. Get you a bank account for your business. Um, I would suggest using Renaissance Bank. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, if you're in um around where I'm from in southern Georgia, um the best banking company that I have found is Renaissance. I say that because for businesses, all they require is 
to open the account and that is it there is no minimum amount that has to be in the bank account there all you gotta do is pay fifty dollars bring your um llc corporation paperwork in um your form of id and that's it get your bank account that way we're used to Anytime you make making purchases for your business, you could be using the same as that card and that will help you in the long run when it's time to do taxes because that tax stuff can be very strenuous and we all know with the person that we got in, in office right now, a lot of people are being audited and that is the best way to keep up with what you're doing. You know, okay, I spent this much in this. I brought in this much and everything is recorded in your bank account, in your business bank account. You know what I'm saying? So even if you have a customer come in paying cash, go deposit that cash into that bank. Yes, you might want to spend that cash. Spend it after you deposit it. Depot make all deposits, you know what I'm saying? So you can keep keep track of what's coming in and then you can keep track of what's going out because you're using that debit or credit card. If you if you don't want to get a bank account in your business name and you got a you know what I'm saying you some people got multiple bank accounts use one of your own personal bank accounts as that bank account all I'm saying is get you a card that you can use to bring in to record when you get money and when you give the money out um what else. Now I wish I would have wrote some down. I should probably make some notes. But um what else? Hmm. Oh, we cash up. You know, cash up is a gift and a curse when it comes to businesses. It's a gift and a curse because you can literally dispute a charge and they'll take it off like that. And it's going to come out of that person's, you know what I'm saying, that business's account. So be careful with Cash App and who you use it with. You can't use Cash App with everybody. Just saying. You know what I'm saying? Use it for people that you trust that you know they ain't going to, you know what I'm saying, try to side swipe you in the end. Um, PayPal is the same way. If you cannot win a dispute with a customer, don't use PayPal and don't use Cash App. You know what I'm saying? If you know that's that person one of those type of customers, be careful. Um, provide them for, with what they ask for, pretty much. Make sure it's what they ask for. That's how you end that. Um, make sure your company has integrity. Make sure you have integrity. Make sure your company, you know what I'm saying, that you run your company morally with morals. Don't provide nothing that you yourself would not want um, from a company. Don't provide that to someone else. Um, well, that's all I can think of right now. And this video is pretty long. It was longer than what I expected it to be. It's 25 minutes right now. But, um, that's all I can think of. If I think of some more things, then I'll definitely come back and or add into another video. But, those are the main things. Get your product. Get certified to sell that product. Provide that service, whatever. Get a corporation. Get your bank account. Um, market yourself. Um, get you form of payments and set set in stone. Get you some rules and regulations set in stone. Um, come up with you a refund process. Um, and that's it. That's all I can think of right now. But I am going to add, like I said, I'll make sure to add the Georgia's um, state, Secretary of State website, you know what I'm saying, somewhere around here. I will be sure to add that. And yeah, I think that's it. So be safe. Start your business. Do great in your business. Be great in your business. And I wish you nothing but the best to look, honestly. I don't have nobody. No jealous bone here. No. But peace. Good luck.